Maybe we should go check out that mine. Oh, I'm Let's so down. It. You guys hear that? What was that? What's up guys? We're out here in Lucerne Valley, California, out by Camp Rock Road. Now, this trip was gonna be like a family fun trip, just kinda hanging out with the family, chilling out, but we figured we'd try to throw together a little banger for you guys. We have some sections we wanna check out, so it should be pretty cool. Hopefully we find some good stuff and we make the best of this quick session because our kids are ready to kick our butts to get them back on their bikes to go for a ride, so. What's up, Dylan? Much. Thanks for coming out and helping us. Of course. So out here in Lucerne, this is uh, Camp Rock Road. This is where most of the moor races are held. This is Main Pit. So there's some good whoops down here. Everybody usually camps down on this side. Access roads over there. So since we're kind of limited on time, we might actually go exploring. That thing's bad, dude. I seen it at uh at Rage at the river. Yeah. And he was he was killing it, man. I know we were talking about mines yesterday. Maybe we should go check out that mine. Oh, I'm Let's so check down. Check it out. We gotta go far back. I, I think. You said there's like water coming off the ceiling. We gotta see that. A nice shaded uh, mine shaft sounds. Yeah. Like uh, a, a nice thing. cold mine shaft sounds pretty cool. Cool. So what 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 truck is this, man? What kind of truck is it? Uh, that's a 91 Toyota pickup, Chevy 383, uh, to, made into a 396. So Brian Cully's old truck. So we chopped off the front end after it broke some parts, uh, and sent it over to Miller Raceworks. He redid the whole front end. Nice, dude. Uh, redid the back, and we've just been tweaking on it ever since. Oh, right on. This is your dad's truck? Yeah, this is Robert's truck. Uh, and this is a, yeah, this is a leaf sprung, right? Yep. Is this a Best in the Desert truck? Yeah. Oh, more snore. Oh, snore, more snore. Like a and we turned it into a legal race truck. Heck yeah, man. This thing's bad. Leaf springs and everything, huh? Four wheel drive, too. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect for a pre running, man. And you guys, you guys are all based out of San Bernardino, right? Yeah. Heck yeah, man. So the plan is right now, uh, I guess Mike found some cool fast turns out there. He's going to show us. There's some rollers that are pretty rad from the race course. And there's, a, I guess, a floater jump, right, Mike? Uh, yeah, you're saying like a road gap or something, right? A road jump, yeah. So, we'll check all that out, guys. How's the difference with the new seats, dude? Better? Dude, I'm loving these new seats. They, the fit is just so much better than my other ones. My other ones were those OMPs, but they were like the wide buckets for like the bigger dudes. Yeah. And it was just so, so this, is, this is like perfect for Yeah, it was a little wine. sloppy, so these just fit tight. Hell yeah, man. They look great, bro. Yeah, man, thanks. your shoe Yo, oh me. my god hey uh, Danny do you have any duct tape which 
You can pull your shoe apart? I had a blowout. I got zip ties. Oh, <laughs> zip ties. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm down. You got a pit stop or what for the yeah. shoe? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen a, a shoe zip tied before, dude. This is a first, man. You got any flush cuts? Dude. <laughs> Let's see. Dude, you should run another one. That is freaking hilarious, dude. Heck yeah. How are you feeling about that? Dude, ready to rip. <laughs> back, back to the... Dude, you're crushing it in the leaf spring truck, man. Looking great, man. Dylan, you you look like you've been lost in the desert, man. Look at the sole of your shoe is gone. You look exhausted. We found this. We found this cameraman in the middle of the desert, just waiting for people to come by. Look at that, dude. <laughs> hey, he has duct tape, man. Whoa! You're saved. His whole sole of his shoe came off. All right, guys, I think we're good. Three or four socks. That's what happened. That's yeah, what tire it. change. Yeah, the dude. locks are leaking. Uh -oh. Look at that, dude. There we go. We're good. We are ready to rip. Oh, yeah. Ready to go explore some mines or what? Oh, yeah, I'm down. All right, guys. So we are at the entrance to this cave. So me and my son were riding the mini bikes yesterday on a long ride. We found this mine shaft. So it's kind of like a small little entrance. It looks like nothing, but as soon as you start walking in, it goes bigger. So hopefully the cameras can kind of pick some stuff up. We got a light. Danny's our, our tour guide. So hopefully he's going to guide us. Welcome to my mind. Let's check it out, dude. Let's check it out. I'm going to the back. Tour guide through. Tour guide. Come on, guys. This is the haunted one, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. There's bears in this one. Where's the camera? You can pick up water. I like the lantern. Are we camping? We're taking up the back. Oh, it's so nice. Got it. Yeah. Very cool. So it's like super short. Ooh, you feel that temperature difference? If there's an earthquake, we're screwed in. I mean, hey, when, there is supposed there's to be been so many earthquakes since this oh, yeah, was built. supposed to be an earthquake. Why? How do you know? What are you doing here? This whole section. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to come off. I didn't want to touch it. It's just a piece. All right, it's like, do they drill? It'd probably be yeah. smart for one person to go back. Yeah, put it in the dynamite? Yup. Yeah. To blast it? Yeah. Is it. Is it like an elevator? You're not supposed to jump? They say past members of the terror crew. <laughs> this cave. Haunt this cave. Dude, this is crazy, huh? Don't touch it! <laughs> Don't touch it. It's just water. Do it, though. You can probably drink it. It doesn't smell bad. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, like it's coming down the walls. It's all wet and wood. That's hey, crazy. Does anyone know how deep it goes? Uh, I don't know. Danny said it goes pretty deep in the slides. Yeah. Go Who's going down the ladder? Me. <laughs> yeah, there's of holes where they blasted. See, so if they're blasting, man, I mean, that's when it would have came down, right? Yeah. Oh, look, it's all wet right here on the floor. It's still good to be out there. Yeah. I'm not trying to die today. Yeah. Okay. Just think about it. If you die, you won't remember it. Again, think about how many years this has been here. Yeah, exactly. At least 20. Uh -oh. oh, way longer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's the end. Baby, when you get back here, like the acoustics completely change. The echo goes away. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, wait, so Danny, where are we now? Wow, where he doesn't know. <laughs> Splits here. Okay. So, where are these guys? So probably, what, 300 yards inside? Yeah. Oh, so, dang. Pull the Scooby Doo, you guys go that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that way it goes, it kind of bends around, it goes like maybe another 100 feet, and it just ends. But over here is the, the vertical shaft. So, watch out for drops, guys, obviously. Yeah. So it's pretty deep in here, you guys. Um, as you guys can see where we're at, it kind of tees off. You could kind of see way down there in the tunnel. And then uh, comes to the end. There's that way where they're leaving me. And then there's that way. So apparently there's like some, um, there's like a ladder or something that's out here. So, but it's pretty tall in here, as you guys can see, like, I'm about, I'm about six foot, 
You can barely, barely like touch the top up here. So it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I've never been in the mine before, and you can definitely tell how like the acoustics are totally different. I'm going back. Um, that does not smell right. That is so really bad. Smells weird. Really bad. What does it smell like? Like sulfur. Like sulfur? Trying to catch up with everybody, but yeah, there's some weird smells in here. Nothing too bad. She went back, dude. Uh, you smell that? Yeah. You oh yeah. Shouldn't. I don't know. Someone was like, "How about those fireworks, dude?" Fireworks. Yeah. But look right here, Dan. You can't Who's see it because it's all smoky. Though. How far does it go this way, Danny? It's like another forty feet. It's just an yeah. ass. Oh shit, dude. I wish it wasn't all smoky because you could see the bottom, but now you can't. What but the hell is the, this? Like, check out the ladder. Oh shoot! Come right here. You can really see the bronze. It smells like a firework, dude. Well, someone was in here, obviously. <laughs> My wife go back? Yeah, she went back. <laughs> She's the only smart one. Yeah, hello. Danny, did you see the hole back here? So Yeah, it doesn't go very far though. The hole doesn't? Yeah. You think somebody was in here no, and like no, set there, yeah. set off a firework or something? That's what it smells like. It's gotta be. They must have dropped something down in here because it's all smoke coming up out of there. So look guys, this is uh so Danny and the guys found this yesterday. But you could see a ladder. Pretty wild ladder and just goes down into the dark. If I had a glow stick, throw it down there. It's pretty wild, man. Dude, it's crazy how muffled everything sounds. Yeah. There's like no echo in here. I know. Isn't that crazy? It's like just shut all the lights on. It's a sketch. That one's not very deep, huh? Joe said it wasn't. It's kind of like so wide. Well, I can't see the bottom of it. Really? Where is it? Back here. Yeah, watch your steps yeah, you get there. There's nothing the around it. Ooh, that's even better. Yeah. So let's all go stand on it. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, but what? Huh? I already saw it, so I'm good. Oh, Joe's saying Should it's in here. Yeah, he didn't say it. it goes down. Watch more. out, man. Watch out, dude. Yeah, heads up. Oh, that's not that bad. You can see the bottom? Yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, here, throw the camera in there. <laughs> Point the light down there, Danny. <clears throat> Come over here. It's just a hole. Just if you come over here, you know, thanks. I'll it's just it. a hole. I'll stay right here. Thank you. Can you see it on there? Yeah. So, so is that like another axis way? I probably saw them at the start of dig and then decided, I don't know. I'm yeah, they just I mean, why the hell? Out. I mean, obviously I they're. I don't know why they start and stop, but they were like, nope, this spot sucks. It's yeah. Well, is it? Does it go farther down? No, it ends right here. Oh, okay. I don't think if you slip down there, you'd be able to get yourself out. No, you wouldn't. No, you would so need like in. you would need some climbing gear. <laughs> this is what's sketchy about these things. Is like yeah. you could be walking and just if you're not watching and falling. That is that's well. How, that's how you. Yeah, I mean, like, like if you didn't have a flashlight and you were just walking back yeah. and just ch trying to like see what's up. If you're, so if you're just walking, yeah, look, if you're walking like this, it looks really not like nothing, but you come up and you find this crazy hole right here. What was that? You guys hear that? What was that? What the hell is that? That is the wood. Oh, yeah. I'm like, don't do that. I can feel it through the ground. Really? Yeah, doing that? Back to the heat. Have you guys, have you ever been in a mine like that before? Yeah, not like that. That one actually opens up and goes back pretty far. I've been in some, but they don't go back that far. How does the air feel? <laughs> it's uh, it's different for sure. Someone's in there blowing up dynamite and stuff. I know. So. I'm sure that that has something to deal with it. Yeah. Anyways, all right, guys. I think this is it for the episode. Hope you guys like that. I'm probably sure you guys uh, came for the uh, off-road trucks, but stayed for the mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, if you guys know some cool like maps or directions to mines or safety precautions for us super noobs that are probably giving like i bet we're gonna get tons of hate from like amateur mine oh, explorers sure. like people you guys are, are ruining it look guys we don't know they're like you guys are idiots yeah. right? we're all gonna die you guys could die yeah you know dude we don't know we we have uh we have somebody back at base camp right saving us yeah somebody somebody's protecting us so we're, we're good but anyways guys yeah if you guys have tips where we can check out some mines if there's maps if there's gear that we should have let us know everything we're, we're, we're ready to solve the Scooby-Doo mystery. I think Terra Crew is going to turn into like er, Terra Earth Crew where we're just like exploring mines from now on. It's probably more affordable. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper than trucks. Way better than, way cheaper than trucks. And a lot, and a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, guys. Take it easy, man.
Thank <laughs> you.